Hey everybody, today we are back at Minecraft Story Mode Season 2 and we're going to be starting Episode 4 today, which is really, really cool. So the description is, our heroes take a journey to a long forgotten land where nothing is quite what it seems and danger looks around every corner. Will Jesse's new alliances and friendships withstand the test they'll face? So let's go ahead and start it right up. So let's do this. Real quickly, I should probably grab my phone to keep track of time here, just in case. You know, I'll just like leave my phone. Previously like on Minecraft Story Mode. Right, what happened previously? Tell me. The admin, a villain who can become anyone with a wave of his hand. How do you face a foe who's never exactly as he seems? Do you hide who you really are? Not everyone can face a trickster head on. Some join him. Others put on a brave face, even when they're scared. No matter what, encountering that kind of evil changes you. It can turn you into a hero or something else. If there's a lesson to be learned, it's be careful when you get close to an admin. You never know what might happen if you dig too deep. Okay, so don't trust admins. Got it. So now this is slowly coming back to me what happened in the past episodes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, story is tailored around how you play, which is a complete lie, in my opinion. Yes, you can make decisions, but the overall outcome actually does not particularly change. Other than a character being in in a place of another character, technically. That's not a change of events. That's just... There's a different body there. But, you know, whatever. The <laughs> game is still worry, okay. Everyone. This is just like the time I jumped from the cliffs of the Powell. Only... Uh, uh, who am I kidding? This is nothing like that. Thanks again for not leaving him behind. Though, let's be honest... No way you'd pick some llama over Nermi here. She's not just some llama. Luna's back there all alone. Probably scared. I just hope Luna is okay. Yeah, me too. She'll be fine. Look, she's an animal. She's got survival instincts. There's a whole world down here. The first world, created by us, Romeo, Fred, and me. Haven't seen it since I was imprisoned, before he bedrocked over it all. You made this? Not this. This shadow. This place doesn't look very friendly or welcoming. Used to be, but now, guess we're gonna find out together, despite your efforts to leave me behind. I knew what Romeo planned to do, but still, seeing it like this... Romeo? The admin. Oh! It's worse than I imagined. This is the room where he killed Fred. I watched it happen. We refused to join him, and it was... Slow. He needs to be stopped. That's why we're here. He hurt you and he'll hurt more people. I wonder if he had a heart at all. Or he was just a monster pretending to play along. Fred's keep is that way. Want to defeat Romeo? The weapon's in there. That sounded vaguely ominous. Is that? That is the biggest Enderman I've ever seen. Romeo never could leave well enough alone. He liked toying with the basic order of things. It would be great if I could go one day 
Just one day without seeing something new and completely terrifying! So that thing is another admin created monstrosity. Time to move, guys. <gasps> so mesmerizing. Not in the eyes, Radar. Don't look at its eyes. <gasps> Sorry, Jesse. I don't know what happened. It was just hypnotic. So big and glowy. Go, go! Going! <gasps> the tower. My town isn't far from here. I'll lead the way. Fred's keep lies just on the other side, and we'll have some cover from that thing. Not asking for me, cause cause I'm tough. Whatever. Our defenses are impressive. State-of-the-art machinery, automated farming. The oasis is a completely self-sustaining city. It's home. What? What happened to it? I'm so sorry. I can only imagine if I saw Beacon Town like this. Save your pity. Wait, this is your town? What has he done to it? Hang on. I just need to see if it's still here. We have to keep moving. No telling what the admin is up to in Beacon Town. And they'll all think it's me. Oh, Nermi, Nermi, it's okay. Come here, pal. It's okay. Are you guys okay? Nurm here was poking around and found a llama blanket, and, um, it made him think of Luna. <laughs> Nurm ain't no. Come on, pal. No. Hey, we're gonna see Luna again. You should hang on to that blanket and give it to her when we do. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. Thanks, Jesse. Years without sleep! Years! <laughs> Only rest is at home. Won't rest until I get there, I said! Zara? <gasps> Look! At... This! My bed! Come on! She's freaking out about a bed? Really? Could she be any more melodramatic? <gasps> wow. Maybe we should help her. 
be my guest. I'm staying as far away from her throwing arm as possible. Ditto! I just wanted to sleep. I thought if I could find this one thing, one last thing still whole, there's no hope for this place. I'll never get it back now. I made sure. He won't get away with this. We'll get back at the admin for what he did. Uh, avenge your, your... your bed. You really believe that, don't you? Zara, what are you doing over here by this, uh... It's a portal. What? A portal. Broken now like everything else. Just leave me here. Go. You want to destroy Romeo, don't you? Make him pay for what he did to you, your town? Then you have to get up. Not much use stuck down here. But what about the portal? Where does it go, anyway? Nowhere, obviously. It's broken. We built these so we could visit each other. An object in the frame would teleport you to the owner. My idea, by the way. Though Romeo took credit for it. Fred wanted to add the birch. He loved birch. So you'd know how to rebuild it. And get us up to the admin. I don't know if I can. Come on, Zara, if you built it once, you can build it again. You're the best inventor in the... underneath. Probably the only inventor now. Even... better? I don't get it. Why don't you keep going? Look where you are, but you're still fighting. I'm tired of the admin doing whatever he wants. Stealing my face, my, my town, my friends. I want my life back, and Fred's weapon is the only way to do it. Fine. It won't work without a personal object. Something with a strong bond to Romeo to take us right to him. Though an object crafted on the surface could do in a pinch. Let me worry about finding an object for the portal. You just focus on getting it running. Follow the tracks. They'll lead you to Fred's keep. Whatever Fred found, he hid it at home. That's what he told me. Jesse! Go. I'll see what I can do. Keep. That's where we'll find the weapon. Kind of useless unless we can find a way out of here. Can't exactly go back up through that prison. Zara's got it covered. Oh, great. Just what this place is needed. Run on ahead! Smells like admin. I'm Jesse. Hi. And this is Jack. Really? 
you're seriously making introductions right now? <laughs> We've been scavenging these lands since the darkness fell. You know what? We can sniff out an outsider when we sniff one. So what are you doing all the way down here, small fry? You lost? We're here to take down the admin. <laughs> You're kidding. You can't even make it off this gravel cliff by yourself. <laughs> yeah. Maybe we help you, maybe we just walk away. Leave you here to die. <laughs> the first one. Pick the first one. going to regret it. Who oh, wasn't that scary? Terrifying. Gonna have nightmares. <laughs> I like the attitude. Takes guts. Solid guts. Here's the deal, folks. Down here, we don't do anything for free. Can't really blame us. What with the giant monsters and nothing growing. So, how about we take your inventory for a spin? Permanently. We're really interested in any weaponry you may have. A warrior without their sword in a place like this is dead meat. Your friend doesn't look like he's gonna last much longer. What'll it be? Don't do it, Jesse. We can find another way. Your swords or splat? Flatter than a lily pad at the bottom of this canyon. Yeah, <laughs> splat. No deal. Yeah, well, that's disappointing. <laughs> yeah, we'll go our own way. Don't go playing heroes, Squishies! World this dark will snuff out a light like you real fast! Jack! Jesse! Jack! Eh, tried to tell ya. Oh, move out, ya stink bags! Jack! Did you see him land? Oh no. Jack. He, he can't be. Jesse? He. He'll be fine, right? Jack knew we had to defeat the admin no matter what. He would want us to keep going. He's right, Nerm. Come on. I guess this is how they keep the mobs out. in peace. We're not gonna hurt you, I promise. We've been told that before. Fred, Fred, Fred believed it. Then he was stabbed in the back. Now what? 
I've never seen you before, and, and I know everyone, everyone in the underneath. Minta! She's not coming back, is she? Someone in there has to know where that weapon is. Let's go. Careful. They might be well-armed, and now they know we're coming. Have been returned. Festivities will close with the fireworks display as usual. And don't forget to sign up for our Faithful Friends of Fred trivia competition for a chance to win one night in Fred's house. Come on, people. We can't let Kent win every time, can we? Study up. Competition starts at Fred o'clock. Why did I say that? They're having a trivia contest? Doesn't that seem a little silly? Silly? You're trapped underground with a bunch of monsters. Oh, man, I love trivia. You do? Yes! It's so fun! Flexing those brain muscles, taking your mind off the incredible misery in the world, crushing down on you every... I mean, uh... Oh, look at that. Welcome to Fred's Keep. My name is Binta. This is the part where you tell me why you're here. We're looking for a weapon that belonged to Fred. It's supposed to be hidden in his home. Maybe we could take a look? Fred's house is sacred. And locked. No one enters unless they win the contest. No one. It's how we honor Fred. Even I only enter through its doors on special occasions. Most of my townspeople have never even been inside. You have to help me. This is important. I don't have to do anything for you, outsider. The door is locked until the contest is won. No amount of arguing will change that. Fred built this place, made it safe from all the monsters out there. This is his legacy, his final request. I'm not breaking my promise to him. You're welcome to try your luck. See how well you know Fred. I don't know him very well at all. I've, I've never met him. Guess you better start researching. Good luck. This place is weird. Nice. What are you up to? Uh huh. Uh, uh oh. Just trying to figure out if, if there's a better way into Fred's house than. Well, studying, just in case. Hey, um, Jesse? Yeah? Do you think Radar still thinks... I don't know. I feel like everyone's looking at me differently. You noticed it too, right? He's being weird with me. Like, like he thinks I'm still... still with the admin or something. Sorry, I, I know it's not the time. I just... just had to... you know, make sure I wasn't the only one who noticed. So... So you're the one. The one who thinks they can beat me as a faithful friend of Fred. Hey, dude. And I'll tell you something, stranger. I am the most faithful friend of Fred, which means I always win. And that means you will lose. So good luck. I don't even know what to do with that one. Hi, um... Oh, you want to know something about Fred? Uh, yeah, actually. How did you... His favorite tool? A diamond hole. It's why I use two. And why I take farming my mushrooms super, super seriously. For serious. Cool. Yeah. Sure. Makes sense. Uh, bye. Please, please, don't hurt me, stranger. I 
did what you asked. Yeah, okay, don't freak out. I'm backing away. Nice and non-threatening. these. Like water in a bucket becomes the bucket. Nice moves, Radar. You've been practicing. Uh, well, thanks. I didn't know you were... Uh, just want to be ready. Anyway, the Oasis and Fred's Keep are all, you know, kind of broken. But I wonder what this place looked like before. Bet it was amazing. The admin's not gonna do this to Beacon Town, is he? You have no idea what he's doing up there. It could be all gone. Our town is strong enough to hold him off for a while. I hope so. No, you're right. We gotta believe in them. Look, if there's one thing I learned in the Slammer, it's that I have to keep my body ready for anything. One, two, and a half. Hey there, I'm looking for information about Fred. Well, this here was Fred's cherished pet, but you'll never guess his name, never. You stay in there now. We don't want that doll getting you now, do we? How can I get him to call out that chicken's name? Let me guess, Fred liked to paint with his feet? Nope. Hurt my painting hands going out into the wilds beyond the keep. Nasty stuff out there. Should have listened. Not safe to wander. That's why no one ever leaves. I taught myself to paint like this, but these old dogs aren't up to crafting. How about we make a trade? You craft me a canvas, and I'll tell you Fred's favorite color. You know, I got some wool, but not enough sticks. You'll have to find some more to get it done. Get that done, prop-like! <laughs> I'm on a roll, and this one's almost finished! You got it. Wow, you are really cute. Hey, dear little guy. I got a game for you. Okay, you see that chicken? He loves playing chase. Go get him. Dog, what are you... Oh, no! Waffles! <laughs> Waffles, come back! Come back! Waffles, huh? Fine, you got me. It's waffles, all right. Chicken could never make a decision. Poor fella. Quite yet. So that's Fred, huh? to make a painting.
Here you go. All done. <gasps> it's just lovely. I am going to paint this Fred's favorite color. Not just any blue. Lapis blue. Lapis blue. Oh, same color as my underwear. Mine too. <laughs> Alright guys, I think this is going to be the end of this episode. Next episode we will take this trivia quiz, which will probably consist of Diamond Toe, Waffles, and Lapis Blue, I think. But guys, thanks for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to like and comment as a the channel, and I will see you guys later. God bless, and goodbye.